Welcome back to Headliners. I'm Leo Kerr, still here with Lewis Schaefer and Jonathan Cogan and kicking this section off with the Times. And the government is going to stop giving gender transition drugs to children. Lefties must be raging, Lewis. They're probably not going to be because it's not going to have no effect at all. This is what I figured out. NHS bans puberty blockers for kids. And uh, this is part of this whole thing. There were 5,000 kids wanting... Uh, puberty, puberty block or sex change. Now, now there are. Ten years ago, it was 250. So it's been a huge pand ep pandemic epidemic of yeah, huge explosion. It's become a yeah. it's become a, almost a social contagion. Social contagion. So what they're doing is they're saying the N they're not on the NHS. They're not going to give they're not going to give puberty blockers. Yeah. With an asterisk, unless it's part of a research. Thing. So all these kids are going to now be part of a research yes. pro program. Please sign the tick box saying this is a research, and they're going to give them out in New York. Can I tell you a story in New York? In New York, in New York, they try, they go, the federal government tried to enforce uh, left hand turn on a red light for for uh, for New York, and New York didn't want it because it's got a lot of pedestrians. Yeah. And so they so New York said, okay, we have to take it because we get the federal money. And, we, and uh, what they did was they ordered twenty thousand signs which they put up on every street corner that said right turn on red is allowed unless there's a sign that says there isn't. Right. I, I misstated that. I'm a yeah, I mean, it's, it's getting away from the, the whole point of this. <laughs> no, uh, well, 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 well. You're, you're, every time I work with you, you got to take your meds, Dad. No, you know what it is, because he's got to go back and talk to his mother about me. But, uh, I mean, getting back to this, we've, we've seen this week the WPATH revelation. Sure. This is the World uh, Association for, for Transgender Health. Uh, the, the, the deals with, uh, with puberty blockers for children and it's been revealed that these doctors who present themselves as completely evidence-based yeah. and, you know, this is... We've, we've been studying this for ages and this well, is what we should the do. They're activists. They're, they're activists mm -hmm. they're, and they themselves have admitted that they don't get informed consent from the children and, yeah. you know, a lot of it is quite experimental. How what can doing. you get this, informed? I mean, this is, this is horrific stuff. This is real long-term damage to the children. It causes infertility yeah. or can mm -hmm. cause inf infertility, osteoporosis, all kinds of... Even cancer. Uh, the hormones cause cancer in one of, one of the children. Mm. It's, uh, I mean, it's, it's horrific. I mean, I'm worried that, you know, the, the government still... Hasn't got a grip on this. There's no and it's change. Still, well, activists are still pushing this therapy onto children. Well, I mean, the, a, a wide sort of view on this was it was experimenting on our children. And if it is now only to be done in cases of actually, like, experiments, it is exactly that. Yeah. They are literally experimenting on children. Now, uh, the, and the argument is, well, of course children that young can't consent to this. They don't really know what they're signing it's up for. It's illegal, yeah. It's illegal to have... It, it's, it's, they can't consent. Yeah. And there, there used to be one place where this horror was happening, which is the Tavistock Centre. And now it's happening in seven places around the country. Yeah. They're not going to be able to keep an eye on it. And when you hear that Great Ormond Street is doing this, and they're supposed to be all cuddly and nice to young kids, but they're castrating the poor, the, the children. Yeah, and I feel that there's, uh, I mean, there's a sinister motive behind some of this. We've seen on the left, there's been yeah. movements, you know, decade after decade. You see the movement for, you know, there's the paedophile information exchange and then there was, uh, you know, there, there's this move to get paedophiles recognised... Yeah, pe move to get paedophiles recognised as minor attracted people to try and take the stigma away from it, when I think there should be. If there's one thing <laughs> there should be a stigma attached to, it's paedophilia. And now with this, you know, they want to stop children reaching puberty so what they can reach the age of consent but still be children do you reckon that's what it is well i, th I think that's oh. that's one that's one possibility i mean I, do, I don't trust the people behind this they're not open they're not transparent they don't seem to have good motives or be doing good things